Akasan's honest reactions, you don't know the power of the dark side. But sometimes, sometimes, there is a light in the darkness. And the dawn is coming. Yeah, I just jacked up a bunch of lines from different movies. Guys, a while ago, time to talk to you for a bit. A while ago, uh, we did a reaction together about the man who uh, danced a jig and shit, lit his ex-girlfriend's house on fire, and started dancing it out, right? And it was funny, as usual, as usual reactions go, it was funny, but there are sort of uh, things, consequences we have to think about, about the other people that were involved in that situation, about what, you know, there, there's always two sides to this coin, and uh, as news goes, you know, they didn't really cover the actual victims in this matter of a house being burnt down. Maybe because the news was so fresh or whatever. So, uh, actually one of the sons, uh, I believe, one of the sons contacted me on uh, YouTube here and was kind of explaining that they lost everything. That they were actually victims of that house uh, being burnt. So, I'm just going to read to you their GoFundMe page because they're trying to get back on their feet. So I'm going to go ahead and read it off to you really quick. Up in flames to lose it all. And this I, I believe was written by the mother of the person that wrote me. My name is Amy Eccles. On October 19, 2015, my children and I had no idea what was to come as we began our day. Sadly, my youngest son's father, Matthew Russ, changed our lives forever more. Changed our, yeah, our lives forevermore. At 10.30 that morning, he, Matt, decided that he had a bad day and suddenly stole my car keys, began a dangerous tirade through our neighborhood, intentionally waited for my children and I to come home to witness as he drove my car head on into a utility light pole. As I got the children to safety, he waited patiently for police to arrive, yielding a knife, and then ran into our home and began to set fire, set it on fire. Ninety percent of my home was destroyed that day and ninety-eight of our belongings. My children, two boys and a girl, who are 14 years, 19 years, and 10 months old, have nothing but the clothing and shoes they were wearing that morning. My vehicle that I had only just purchased three weeks prior was also totaled. Ooh. We lost more than just our belongings that day. This has been a very tragic event, causing my children nightmares and mental emotional stress beyond imagination. For they witnessed it all from the beginning to the end. Anything donated is more than appreciated from the bottom of our hearts. We're forced to start over from the ground. If someone you know and love is suffering from mental illness, please get them help. And be sure you are safe. There are signs. These things don't just happen without some sort of warning. In most cases, I know God is real. I thank him for protecting my children and I that day. Thank you for your support, your kind words, prayers, and any amount you are able to donate. Love you all and God bless. And this comes from uh, Amy, Amy, Amy. Uh, and so I'm going to go ahead and leave a link to the description below. Uh, I'll leave a link to the GoFundMe page below. I do believe that as YouTubers, we have to be responsible in these sort of situations. Um, we're not just making videos, reacting to whatever for money and such and sub count, whatever, right? Um, this is one of these things that I wanted to get across to you guys. This is one of those missions I wanted with this channel. I believe you, the Red Reddit Nation, and myself, we can be more than just money hungry, sub grabbing, whatever, view hogs, right? So let's go ahead and make a statement and such. If you can, please donate. I understand exactly what it feels like to be on a sort of uh, journey uh, to be start over, to start over from the beginning. You know, I was actually homeless for quite some time. Um, 
with my family. My family and I, when I was young, so, uh, my heart goes out to those kids to have lost everything. And, uh, you know, hopefully they're doing okay now, but it will get better. It always gets better. So if you can, please help out and let me know what you think.